This video is about Archi-Translate tool and uh, you could say in other words that the tool is a global find and replace tool. So it will go through every da database, uh, every text, every object in every database and do find and replace operation in those. The example file I'm using is from ArchiFrame samples folder and by default it is in C ArchiFrame samples. And here we have a couple of texts to translate these in the floor plan. And then we have a similar text here in a section. And let's see our translation rules. Uh, also in the uh, samples folder there is an Excel file containing example translations. Uh, the user manual tells the meaning of different columns, so I will not go into these details. But the important thing here is that uh, we have English and Finnish vers versions of the texts. And uh, this example text will be translated from any target and this second row, this one, will be processed only uh, from the floor plan elements. So, let's start translation uh, from the floor plan and without any selection, ArcFrame will process everything in the model. So here is find and replace texts. And I will open the example translation Excel and select uh, source and target language. And here are the results of the translation or final replace operation. One result is visible here in the floor plan. And then let's see the section. Here only the first one was translated because this one was uh, specified from the Excel to be translated only if it's uh, on the floor plan. Then the remaining translations were made here in this elevation floor to the element stamp. So these are now in Finnish. And let's do the translation the other way around for selected item only. So from Finnish to English. So these uh, object parameters were replaced by English texts. This Lua script is in the default data folder, which is located by default in C ArcFrame data folder. And here it is ArcFrame translate.lua, this one. Typically, the Lua script is not needed, but if the object handles translating itself internally, uh, you can write any logic into the Lua script to be compatible with your object.